thirsty as fuck. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a hot minute, but I'm back. I think the last time I filmed was a way before, or like a week before Halloween, um, when I did the Twisted Queen of Hearts. And I feel like it's been forever, like since I've been in front of the camera just filming a beauty video. So today I'm going to be doing a... wait, what am I doing? Today I'm going to be doing uh, my October favorites. I can't believe October is already gone and November is here. Thanksgiving is so near. I love Thanksgiving and I cannot wait to eat all the yummy food, especially stuffing. Oh my god, I love stuffing. I want to see what my October favorites are, then just keep watching. Okay, so this product I wanted to mention, which I'm sure you guys have seen before in other beauty um, videos, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It looks like this. I heard so many things about this stuff and um, I actually like went into Sephora wanting to try out and buy the um, Laura Mercier under eye brightening powder but then I seen this and I felt like I can still use this under my eye and as well like as all over my face so I decided to buy this instead and I can't stress enough like how much I love it like Oh god, I love this stuff so much that I'm actually going to go back to the store and buy the under eye brightening powder. Her products in general just are amazing. If you guys haven't tried this stuff, I highly recommend it. It is, oh my god, it just feels so silky on the skin. Um, it's not cakey. It goes on so like smooth and like almost like buttery and I just can't even like explain to you guys and it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't smear off you don't have to reapply like i don't find myself having to reapply if i haven't tried this stuff i would seriously suggest going to sephora or wherever you guys shop um and picking this up it is the bomb next product i want to mention is the makeup forever ultra hd i'm not sure if i mentioned this before but i love this stuff and i'm actually going to pull out another product that i purchased that if you guys don't follow me on snapchat i kind of compare the two um it's the makeup forever and this is the max studio water weight foundation and it comes in a little dropper which i heard um this stuff is pretty much identical to the bb water um foundation by smashbox but this stuff is pretty much identical if you guys haven't tried this foundation i suggest like trying this you guys have to use this foundation it is so fucking amazing it looks like you're not wearing any foundation at all super natural absolutely love it i i wear i was wearing this every day and i can't get enough of it so if you guys haven't tried it it's the max studio water weight foundation now originally what i was talking about was the makeup forever ultra hd also bought this and i absolutely love this as well it feels like skin it doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation but also still giving uh, medium to full coverage so if you guys haven't tried these two i suggest going to the store picking them up and giving them a try next thing i want to talk about is the maybelline super stay better skin concealer boom it looks like this um it's oil free and I love this stuff. It's super, super blendable. Um, it's, again, creamy, easy to like blend out. I love the finish of this concealer as well. And, again, I heard many good reviews about this, so I wanted to try it. So I went to the store, picked it up, and I love it. I love this stuff as well. The next product I want to talk about is the Laura Geller Highlighter in uh, Gilded Honey. I love this highlighter. It is so so beautiful on the skin. I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it today, but it's such a beautiful highlight um, on the face, and I just love it. The next product I want to talk about is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Lipsticks. They look like this. I purchased four of them. Three being pretty similar, almost identical um, in color, except. They're not. In the bottle, they look like super like the same fucking color. Um, but I swatched them so you can kind of see the difference. Um, they're all very much different. But they're like $6 and super affordable. ColourPop has like amazing products to me. I like, their shadows are just super unique. Their lip, liquid lips are just 
for the price like you can't go wrong if you guys haven't tried these yet I suggest you do um, they're one of my favorites so far and I just love them so if you guys haven't give them a try and what else do I have the Previ skin type 1 and 6 Hydration with potent antioxidant chemicals. Hydro milk contains active levels of natural ingredients to help improve skin hydration and fight free radicals. It's by Hydro Milk. I actually got this in my Boxy Charm, and I love this. Like I love this stuff. It's actually a face moisturizer. Um, I think it's a face moisturizer. My face just feels super, super moisturized. I actually apply this in the morning, and I apply this right before I go to bed every night like there's not a night that I do not use this um it has really like no scent to it so it's like fragrance free I want to say and it just it's so thin and so moisturizing that like it just oh my god it just like quenches my face of like all the dryness that happens I think this bottle is like $48 and this is the full size so you know this has to be some good shit then so I will let you know if I find anything comparable to this because that's a lot of money for this size bottle, but you get what you pay for, right? Oh my god, I dropped the fucking lash. Salon Perfect Lashes, I believe this is their new style. I've already worn these, so I, I kind of pulled them out so I want to show you guys the style before I toss them. Uh, I believe these are the 615 or 616, I'm not really sure, but I'll link it down below. But this is the style. I love these lashes. I've been buying these ever since they came out with them. I've been buying Salon Perfect forever. Like, I think I was buying Salon Perfect before I was even buying Ardell. So, when they came out with this style, I almost like lost my shit. They are the bomb. Like, they're so comfortable to wear and they give such volume and length and oh my god, I just, they're not heavy at all. But they still give that like glamour. I'm gonna have to toss this bad boy because I've already worn it like two times, three times. So, yeah. The next product I wanna mention is the Biore uh, Free Your Pores Facial Cleanser. I think the other one I showed you guys that I used to use was the charcoal. I ended up switching because I felt like the charcoal one was kind of like drying and it was actually making me break out. Oh, it was so bad. Like, it was so, so bad. I've seen this in the store. It's the Combination Skin ba Balancing Cleanser. And I think it's just a little less harsh on the skin than the other one. And I've used this, and nothing has happened yet. Knock on wood. Um, and so far, so good. It says Target Impurities and Balancing Skins and Moisture. So I'm hoping that it's a little bit more gentle on my skin and... I'm praying for no breakouts because right now my skin is at its best and I probably just jinxed myself. I'm going to see how it goes. If I do not break out from this stuff, then I will probably buy another bottle. Next product, speaking of skin, is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne, Acne, Acne Blemish Clearing Facial Wipes. These were actually purchased by accident. I went to the store thinking that these were makeup wipes. But they were. I heard so many good things about Yes brand that I thought these were makeup wipes. So I'm like, oh, let me try them. Well, no. These are actually blemish wipes. So it says penetrates pores to control acne, blemishes, and blackheads. So actually it kind of worked out because as I was breaking out from using the BRA charcoal, oh my God, get it together. I was actually using these to clear up what that product did to my skin. So these actually work pretty good it says there's sicilic acid to control acne pimples and blackheads so what i would do with these was i would just take one out and kind of uh, use it at nighttime and rub it on my chin area or any problematic area that i was where i was breaking out <clears throat> and that's what i would do and they actually work and they're really gentle on the skin i'm actually going to start buying more of their products because i really like them and these actually work so it was actually a good buy by mistake. I know this is kind of random, but I had to share this. It's the Mainstays Cozy Comfort Candle. I think you can purchase these at Walmart. Oh my god, but I want to tell you guys about this. It smells so fucking good. I don't really know how to explain cozy comfort scent, but it's almost like a very, like, a mixture between, like, sweet and perfume and 
it just smells fucking delicious and this is actually my second candle that I bought of the scent but if you guys want to smell this which I wish there was like smell a vision because I'd be like smell the candle um you guys have to go and purchase this it's fucking amazing and they're cheap they're like I think this candle is like what five six dollars seven dollars I don't even know but it smells amazing I love it so I think that sums up my what was this video again my uh, October favorites um, I'm sorry I didn't really have like that much stuff to show even though I felt like I bought so much stuff in October but the Chicago makeup show is coming this Sunday and um, I know Sephora is coming up with their VIB sale next week man I'm gonna be fucking broke but that's okay because it's worth it I love makeup and it's what I do so with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time I'll see you later. Bye guys.